Hello and welcome back one and all. So we are here today to have a look at the Adventure Quest World's Gossip. So if you haven't already, make sure of course you hit that subscribe button and leave the video with a like. So we are going to get into this. We have got a few more sort of Mogloween items, a bit of Friday the 13th and a couple Cyber Monday ones, including the potential for a festival item this early on. Well, I say early, we're only a month away. But anyway, let us begin with the Pumpkin Paragon. Now, I showed you this a little while ago. It's one that laid you up, and I tell you what, we have got confirmation that this is coming into the game around the end of November, so we will be able to get our hands on this one. No idea yet how that will be, whether it's farmable, adventure coin, but uh, to be honest, it's probably going to be adventure coin. But yeah, that's coming soon. Here is the Frozen Soul Dracov set, and this one looks absolutely awesome. And I am so hopeful that this one comes in for Frost of All this year. But as always, time will tell with that. But it is a pretty complete set with all sorts of different items to go with it. So, fingers crossed. So, next up, we have got the Crystallis Veteran set. Another one for the Kataro faction. But you know what? I don't actually know if this one's confirmed. It was a commission, but as it is a Crystallis one, surely we're going to see it pretty soon. Next up is the Diabolical Ectomancer set. Again, this one looks really, really nice. You'd be hopeful to see this for Mogloween, but you know what? We just never know with this kind of thing. So we'll just have to keep our eyes peeled for that one there. Next up, we have got the Cyber Valkyrie set. Now, if we are going to be seeing this at all this year, that will, of course, be for Cyber Monday, judging by the name on the set. However, it was a commission like many of these items, so it's never guaranteed. This one here is by Lay, and it is the Black Cat hoodie set. So we're pretty likely to see this one at some point fairly soon. Anyway, moving on yet again to the Obsidian Outrider set. Now, this one looks very nice. I haven't got any other items to show you as of yet, but I expect I will spot some of those in the coming weeks. So hopefully a bit more on that one very soon. But it does look really rather nice. Here is the Ravenfall outfit and items. This one is ever so slightly different to normal. I really do quite like the effects. I actually like the use of orange with the blue colours. I think that works really, really nice. And it's a combo I've never really seen before. Here are some sets by Tyrannus coming up. As always, these ones are usually pretty likely to be popping along at some point. To me, it feels really suited. For me, I'd say this one's quite likely for a Friday the 13th event, or indeed Black Friday, which will be at some point soon. Here we have a few upgraded Guardian sets, so maybe one for Guardian, Adventure Chris Wells, and Dragon Fable. Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. Next up is this set by Johan. Now, this one... I would say, maybe for Neil Gaff's birthday, it feels like quite a voidy set to me, but I do really like it, and I do quite like the colour combos that are going on with it. Next up is this Teen Slasher set. Now, again, this one has got to be for a Friday the 13th event or something similar. And lastly, and certainly not least, is the Elementalist set. Again, this one here, no idea if this would actually come into the game, but I thought you guys might like to see it, and it is really rather cool. So, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave the video a like and, of course, subscribe. And we'll be back very soon tomorrow for the new event. So, until then, have a lovely day.